What is going on, everybody? My name is Justin, also known as Gaming Spider YT, and Call of Duty goes to shit. Goodbye. Just kidding, guys. I'm back here. Uh, my name is Justin, also known as Gaming Spider YT, here on YouTube.com. And I'm going to tell you guys why I think what I think of Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, what I said in the intro, uh, basically, um, what I think about this year's Call of Duty and why I can't wait for Advanced Warfare. Let's start from the very beginning, the launch of Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, I was really hyped for Call of Duty as usual, not ultra hyped like I am for Advanced Warfare or like I was for Black Ops 2 because I hadn't really seen any real gameplay of Ghosts to be honest. They just showed that live action trailer for the masks and I was like, okay, COD Ghosts. Um, I didn't get it on release, I didn't pre-order it, I just kind of went into GameStop, you know, three days after the release, uh, excuse me guys, and uh, I just kind of picked it up, uh, you know, I wanted to try it out, see how good it was, and I immediately put in the multiplayer, as I normally do for uh, my Call of Duty experience, and I just, something felt off to me in the multiplayer, and uh, really I believe that the competitive community for Call of Duty Ghosts is the only reason the game lasted as long as it does, uh, the competitive community being, you know, Nade Shot, Optic, uh, FaZe, Strictly Business, Envious, EG, Complexity, or whatever you want to call them. Basically those guys, the guys that, uh, you know, are, uh, you see them all the time, you know, on Twitch streams, on MLG.TV streams, uh, and you hear about the Call of Duty Championships, those guys, basically, that compete in those things, that, that is the reason why Ghost lasted as long as it did. Um, honestly, I just, I don't know what I really hated about Ghosts. I just didn't really like it. Uh, the time to kill was way too fast, I just didn't like it at all. I'm not really normally a big fan of Infinity Ward games, so uh, I naturally knew I wasn't really going to like it in the first place. The map design to me was poor besides a few maps, besides uh, basically like Warhawk, um, what's that map called, Freight I think, and uh, maybe Strike Zone, the really small map. Um, those maps were very, you know, they were decent, they were pretty good, I'll give them some credit. Warhawk was fun to play. Freight was really fun to play, and uh, Strike Zone was good to play if you liked close quarters gameplay, shotgun, SMG, if you were that kind of guy. Um, but the rest of the maps, honestly, were terrible, in my opinion. I, I just hated the maps with, you know, a very, very strong passion. Uh, the guns in that game, they weren't too, too bad. I liked the MTAR at the beginning of the game, and then later switched to the Vector. Um, but really, I only played the multiplayer for about two weeks without getting bored. I got to the max rank in multiplayer, I don't know, I think that was like level 60 or something, uh, whatever, I got to the max rank, I didn't prestige, I got bored of the game, and I quit, I went back to Black Ops 2, Titanfall came out, I played that for a while, and the rest is history, um, <laughs> but yeah, you know it's a bad Call of Duty whenever the campaign, the story mode, is the best part, you know, it has no replayability if the campaign is the best part. You know, like, Black Ops 2 for me was the best Call of Duty. Not the best Call of Duty, but the best recent Call of Duty. The best Call of Duty for me, uh, fun-wise, has to be World at War, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but it was my first Call of Duty, so, you know, your first Call of Duty is pretty much always going to be your favorite. I just love the zombies mode on uh, World of War, the original zombies. Uh, Nocturne Toten, which is great. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, Ghosts... Um, they, they tried to make a third-person co-op mode like Treyarch had with zombies and extinction mode and I'll give them that a lot of people did like extinction mode I was not one of them. I was not a fan of extinction at all. I thought it was kind of a lame ripoff of zombies I didn't like it. Uh, I did like how that you um, you actually could beat the extinction mode You could get to the helicopter you could fly away. That was a really cool feature But uh, I, I just wasn't too big of a fan of the game. I just I don't know what it is about it I just I don't know. I just could not play the multiplayer. I could not do well. Drop my controller again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just the map layout was bad. I just didn't like it in general. It just it wasn't fun. Um, there was a lot of overpowered things in that game, like the Ripper when that came out. The DLC guns that was just terrible. The first DLC gun, the Maverick. Oh my gosh, that thing was insanely overpowered in public lobbies. I just hated it. Uh, the 6v6 on the Xbox 360 was just terrible on Stormfront. The maps were way too big. 
There was a lot of stuff wrong in that game, and I don't know why it lasted as long as it did, to be honest. I know a lot of people have the same feelings as me, but a lot of people disagree with me and really love the game. And for those people that did love the game, be sure to comment in the comment section down below on why you love the game, or why you liked the game at least, and uh, I'll be sure to understand you guys. You know, I've had games that I like that not a lot of people like, that a lot of people actually hated after a while or just stopped playing, Titanfall being one of them. Every Everyone thought Titanfall was fraud, fun. Everyone did. Uh, everyone played it for about a week and then got bored of it, <laughs> you know? Uh, I just happened to play it for more than that amount of time. I played the game for months on end, got into the competitive scene. I was fun while it lasted. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I guess, you know, the snipers in that game were really easy to use. This thermal... Uh, Oh, sorry guys, with the thermal scope, things like that. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I just didn't like COD Ghosts, and uh, I'm hoping for more with Advanced Warfare. And with this advanced movement system coming in Advanced Warfare, uh, things like the uh, double jump, the little boost in midair, the slam, uh, those are things that are going to come really naturally to me. Being a uh, Titanfall player as a background like me, uh, that'll come really naturally, hopefully at least. And, uh, yeah, that's basically my opinion on Call of Duty Ghosts, guys. Um, I did like the campaign mode, however. The campaign for Ghosts, I don't know why, but I had a really fun time playing the campaign for Ghosts. But, uh, other than that, the maps were too big. Uh, the guns were overpowered. You know, some of them were, at least. Um, and, yeah, I just... Poor design on maps is just a really key thing for me. You know, if the maps aren't fun, what you're playing on isn't fun and you know stuff like that free fall that one map when you know when you're on a skyscraper that was literally symmetrical from uh you know one side of the map to the other you had no idea where you were uh, unless you played on it a lot that is um but yeah that basically just wraps up my opinion on call of duty ghosts just wanted to let you guys know what my opinion on the game was before advanced warfare drops um on the 4th of november We've got a, a little bit over a month to go until Advanced Warfare drops or until uh, November hits. So October will be a long month, but uh, hopefully we can get through it, guys. And uh, yeah, that's basically the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Uh, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I do more videos, discussions like this. You can go through my previous videos, basically look at what I upload. I do news, tips, and tactics on Advanced Warfare do some Destiny gameplay, and uh, just talk about whatever, you know, have some discussions with you guys, just kind of chill. And uh, yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of this commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. See you guys later.